YouTube. Wag on, it's your boy King Superior, aka the Delay God. Man, we back with another video. You know what I'm saying? Now, today I'm finna show y'all boys my jump shot. A few people asked me for my jump shot over the course of a few weeks, and I never really made a video on it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm finna make a video on my jump shot today. Not only am I gonna show y'all uh, my jump shot, but I'm gonna show you another good jump shot that you can use, and I might explain why. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be explaining why. I'm gonna be giving y'all two different jump shots. So first off, let me just jump right in and show y'all my jump shot. Just get straight to it, okay? So this is the jump shot that I personally use. Um, where is it again? Oh yeah. And I've been using this since um the first month uh, of the game's release. You know what I'm saying? But I've I've made a, 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 a change on it. So this is my jump shot right here. It's fixed. Um, so my my base is jump shot 98. Uh, release one is release 15. Release 2 is release 26, okay? Now for the blending, I currently have it on the release speed 75 and the animation blending 40% to the left and 60% to the right. Now months ago when I used to use this shot, I used to have the speed all the way turned up to 100 and I used to find the shot. The shot used to work better at 100 speed in my opinion. I used to go crazy. And it was a really, really fast shot when I had it to 100, and I, I wanted a fast shot so I could get off the quick stop and shoot really fast. And I used to green really, really consistent with, uh, with it at 100%. The next gen 2K drop, I started playing on next gen. The next gen release is so slow, you know what I'm saying? I got used to the next gen speed, then I came back to this game, I couldn't hit any shots in 100% speed, right? So I had to turn it down to 75% speed, and now I green consistently. Now, a lot of people say that jump shots green windows it's bigger when you have it on 75% I cannot confirm that I'm not sure but I'm shooting better on 75% speed now than I used to um, I'm shooting better on 75% speed now than 100% speed but back when I used to use it on 100% speed I was shooting more consistently so I'm not sure if 2k just kind of nerfed the 100 speed on this shot or if I just got used to the next gen slow shot that I can't really shoot on super super fast shots anymore now, if you're accustomed to shooting on super, super fast shots, try this jump shot on 100% speed. And if it works good for you, then you can keep it there. But if you try it on 100% speed, um, you're used to shooting fast jump shots, you try it on 100% speed and you're missing, then tone it down to 75% speed. And it should you should be uh, greening with it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I green really consistently with the shot on 75% speed. The only thing I don't like is it's kind of slow because I like fast jump shots. Now, a lot of people, they're used to using 75% speed, but you know what I'm saying? I prefer fast shots and I remember how fast the shot used to be. So coming down to 75%, uh, speed I don't really like it because of the speed of the shot but I green consistently with it right and that's all you want to be able to do you want to be able to shoot consistently um y'all heard that <laughs> you want to be able to shoot consistently with your shot no matter what so this is what I use it on right so it's base 98 release 1 release 15 release 2 release 27 okay now keep in mind I made a video about two three videos ago maybe I explained to y'all that not every shot works on every bill okay so this jump shot right here works good on bills with shorter wingspans now I have another bill with a max wingspan and this jump shot is not really a good jump shot for um for what you call it for um gosh for long wingspan build so if you have like a max wingspan build this is not the jump shot you want to be using okay i'm going to show you another jump shot that works good for long wingspan but if you have like if you have the default wingspan or short wingspan you can use this shot it's going to work really really good for you but max wingspans you don't want to be using the shot i mean you could try it it might work for you but i don't recommend it on a long wingspan shot you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna head into this game real quick and show y'all what the jump shot actually looks like you know what i'm saying and then um, i'm gonna show y'all the, the other jump shot for the long wingspan at the end of the video so let me just i don't even need to say the changes because it's the same shot but yeah i'm gonna catch y'all boys at the end when i'm showing y'all the the other jump shot for the longer wingspan <laughs> Oh, right corner, right corner, right corner. Bro, yeah, I can't switch the hands. What the fuck is the game on, bro? Bro, I could have been switched hands and end. So what happened on that dribble play right there was my latency, it skyrocketed. It went up by like so much throughout the game. 
and he threw off my dribble. Watch this play right here. This play right here, I wasn't even controlling my player properly, bro. My, the game was just registering all the flicks on my stick extremely late, and I had no control over my player. The play before that as well, my player kept skipping to the right over and over. That was my delay just going crazy. I could not control my player. I'm about to miss this shot right here because the play, the first play, the dribble play, when I was going cons cons when I kept going to the right was because my delay just, it went crazy. It went so high, like in the middle of the game, like I couldn't control my guy and I missed like two shots, I think, because of that, because of the latency just went crazy, you know what I'm saying? But this is the last play of the game. The score is 21 to 20. I already felt the delay, you know what I'm saying? I already felt it going up by a lot, so like I already know I gotta just, I already know I gotta hold, uh, I gotta hold the X button a little bit longer. Now right here, I press X and look how long my player takes to start. So, see that? You see that pause right there? That wasn't me, bro. I stepped back and held X immediately, but my player just stood there and paused because of the delay. But I'm already used to that. I'm already, I'm already used to my delay going up and going down and going up in games. So I already know I gotta adjust. I already know it's gonna be longer. So I wasn't even tripping. I see how fast I adjusted to that delay. I got to immediately adjust it to it and hit the shot still. All right, y'all. So let me show y'all boys the, the jump shot for the longer wingspans, okay? So this is it right here. Um, let me go into the jump shot creator. And um, yeah, so it's this shot right here, okay? Now, I got this jump shot from a YouTuber, uh, Selling Dog. Some of y'all probably know who he is. This, I actually got this jump shot from him. The first jump shot, that's my shot. But this shot right here, I actually got this from Selling Dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the base is Dwayne Wade. Release 1 is release 13 and release 2 is 110. Now he has it on um he has it on 75% speed. I don't know why it was on 100. I had it on 100 because I was messing around with the speed, but he has it on 75% speed. Uh release 13 um you want to have 53 53% on release 13 which is to the left and then 47% which is release 110 which is to the right, okay? You know what I'm saying? The release speed 75 um, I tried it on 100% speed. It's absolutely dog shit on 100% speed. Do not use it on 100% speed. Use it on 75% speed. This shot is really good. Now, to green with this shot, you want to release the ball when it's at the top of your head. When the ball is at the top of your head, that's when you want to release it. You know what I'm saying? If you're extremely delayed like I am, you don't want to release it there, okay? Like, if you're in the mic rear, go ahead and release it at the top of your head. If you got good internet, go ahead and release it at the top of your head. If you're extremely delayed, you're playing from Trinidad, Jamaica, uh, Africa, you're playing from somewhere that doesn't really have a server, you do not want to release it at the top of your head, you're going to miss every single shot. You want to release it right before, like, at his chin area. When he puts it at his chin, that's where you want to release it if you're super, super delayed like I am, okay? You cannot release it at the top of your head if you're not delayed. That's only going to work if you have extremely good internet, okay? So if you're delayed, release it, like, about, maybe about, yeah, maybe about, like, your chin or your nose area. That's where you want to release it, you know what I'm saying? And if, if you're not greening there, you got to find, you got to find your, uh, you know what I'm saying, figure out your latency, bro, and find that timing. So it's the enemy from like around the chin to the top of your head. You're going to have to find that range depending on how good your internet is, okay? Like I said, you got good internet at the top. You got terrible internet. You want to release at, at the chin, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so hopefully this video did help y'all boys out, you know what I'm saying? If it did, be sure to drop a like on this video. I got a few dribble moves I'm going to show y'all before uh, making dribble tutorials and stuff like that. I'm actually, I barely did, but I got a few, uh, like a few moves to show y'all before 2K22 drops. And then um, we're going to be going crazy 2K22. Like I said, if the video did help y'all, go ahead and smack that like button. My name is King Superior Man, and I'm going to y'all boys later, bro. Peace.